Good Monday, makers. Welcome back to another episode of Maker Pipe Monday. Uh, my name is Dave. This is our weekly series where we go over all the Maker Pipe builds that have been posted to the website community throughout the week. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Let's take a look. We've got a fantastic group of builds, everything from gardening to hydroponics to uh, a rack for a Jeep and all kinds of things. So let's check them out. The first one we've got is by Rick, and he made this cold frame out of the old manure pit of his 1976 hog house. Uh, what, what a great story. And it's 65 feet long by eight feet wide. And he, um, he used maker pipe and conduit for this, but check this out. He's got uh, an existing cinder block wall here, brick wall. And then he does a shed style um, roof there that he's stretching plastic over to create the cold frame. And he's using wiggle wire at the bottom there to hold the plastic in. Uh, and it's beautiful. It looks great. But check this out. This is the neatest thing. He's got a way to open it and close it with this hand crank. What a smart idea. He's got this hand crank there attached to a wire. And the wire is opening and closing it. Uh, just fantastic way uh, to come up with it. I love the ingenuity. Um, Rick, thanks so much for sharing it. Really enjoyed seeing it. Next one we have is by Dan, and he is planning on doing a raised bed uh, for his garden, and he wanted to plan it out. So he used our Maker Pipe Minis to get an idea of what the structure would be out of conduit and our connectors. And this is what he came out up with, and it looks great. He's got, uh, he modeled the um, the raised bed here out of wood, that looks fantastic. It looks like it's cardboard or something like that. And then he did the entire structure out of Maker Pipe Minis and, uh, and coffee stirs. He's even got the, the net here for climbers and has everything planned out, ready to go for spring. Uh, I loved it. And one of the things that he was most excited about was the fact that he could accommodate taller crops and create a uh, a support structure, a trellis for them, whether it be tomatoes or pole beans, um, and he's looking forward to it. But his overall dimensions are four feet wide, 12 feet long, and it'll be about eight feet high. So definitely a, a nice size raised garden. Dan, thanks so much for submitting it. Really cool to see your plans. I think it's gonna work out great. Next one we've got is by Andrew, and he made a flooded seed trade for his aquaponics farm. I uh, said it was super easy to build, worked like a charm, and he's got these large trays uh, that he floods, and they're at an angle. So you can see he staggered or adjusted where he put the connectors on the vertical pipes so he could achieve that slope. And you've got them sloping down that way, and uh, just a really simple build, but it does exactly what he wants to. I like the feet he came up with. These look like 4x4 four four posts drilled out and the conduit put in. Looks like a great build, Andrew. Uh, thanks so much for putting it up on the website. I know a lot of people are gonna like seeing that. Next one we have is by Stefan. He made uh, this beautiful roof basket uh, for his Jeep. Check out this four-door Jeep. He's got a uh, beautiful gray Jeep, blacked out wheels, um, a lot of cool accessories. And then he made this basket for it out of EMT conduit and our connectors. He said he attached it to some existing roof rack mounts uh, that he had on the hardtop, and then just created uh, this square structure with, he used 90 degree connectors here at each corner, two of them, and then the rest is made out of tees. Really simple, inexpensive, and gives him a nice basket for his, his Jeep. Thanks so much for some minute, Stefan. We like seeing that. Next one we have is a review on the website for the 45 degree connector. Uh, and it's by Cyber Reef Guru in Virginia. Thank you so much for the review. We really appreciate it. Um, so it looks like they've got a CNC router here uh, that they need a vacuum hose to be positioned over it to take out the wood or dust or whatever it is. And I, I think you can see some of their creations here on the side, uh, but it needed a way to put a vacuum hose over the CNC router. And they were thinking about some 3D printed options or some commercially available ones that were super expensive, but um, glad to see that they found our product and it was a good solution. They used 
just a couple 45s and some black wrap to create this arm that was able to swivel and hold the vacuum hose, hold the cable over the machine, and uh, they were pleased with it. And uh, I couldn't be happier. Thanks so much for the review. I'm glad it worked out and it met your needs. Last one we've got from this week is by Randy. Uh, Randy has created all kinds of things out of Maker Pipe. Um, so glad to talk about his builds. And we recently uh, did a, an interview with Randy to check in with him. So check that out um, when it becomes available. Uh, but take a look at this. He's into pizza making at home on his beautiful deck. And he needed a place to put the pizza tools. You know the big spatula that you used to put a pizza in and turn it around? Well, that's called a pizza peel. And I, I didn't know this, but Randy educated us. And he needed a rack, so when he was making his pizzas and flipping them around and putting them in, uh, that he could store those right at the ready. So he created this stand out of uh, Maker Pipe, and it came out fantastic. Uh, he made hooks for his pizza peel uh, with these bolts that went right into the conduit. And you can see he did a 45 here all the way down to the bottom, which is these 90s. And it looks great. So Randy, another great build. We always enjoy seeing them. Um, keep them coming. And that's all the builds we've got for this week. If you like these, if you want to see more, we recently updated the Build Anything book. That's our ebook that's available on the website where you can take a look at over 250 maker pipe builds just to get inspiration, see how other people have done it. So definitely go check that out or consider subscribing to the channel. We'd love to have you. We'll see you next week. Take care.